Welcome back everybody, it's me Mr. Spicy, we're here again today with Freaking Cheap Friday. Now today we're taking a look at a demo for an upcoming, you know, in development game. This is free to play, I'm gonna have a link in the description below, but this is Bannerman. And as you see, it's already got a uh, Bannerman pre-alpha demo version 1, and all you got is basically this click play demo. But this is an RTS strategy game. So, of course, we're in this vein of, like, Old Warcraft, uh, Starcraft, things like that. Stuff I grew up with that was very fun for me. So, let's see. So, the arrow keys move the camera around, okay? And mini-map, yeah, shows me where I'm gonna be. Alright, I can select this guy. He is a footman. And, oh, yes, I can click on the map to move around, too, so that helps. Alright, so I've got two footmen. Basic interface. Yeah, order use window. You're able to give orders to them. Stop. Hold. And alright, we've got a friendly base not far from here. Make them move northeast and find it. Okay, we can do that. Uh, I guess we, we can tell them to go here and they'll figure it out as they get there, of course. Hit space to follow our units as we move around. Alright. Oh, we look like we found a base. We got some workers. Yeah, okay. He's a worker. He looks kind of sad, you know. They all kind of standing with their heads down, you know. Not not too happy looking for these guys. I guess it's uh because they're gonna be stuck working, chopping trees and gathering gold. And it looks like that's all we have to worry about. So two resource types. Uh, all right. So that's just pointing there. Right click on the resource. Let's see. Where, where's the resource? Ah, so there's that. Here we go. 5,000 gold and 5,000 wood. So apparently a lumber mill and a gold mine. So yeah, this is very much old, like, Warcraft style game. It seems, or what it's going to be once they get away from just having a demo. Yep, Zack Locket. They go gather, they bring it back. So, you know, a de facto standard of RTS style games. Alright, so they are gathering. What am I supposed to do now? Build a house. So, well, I guess I gotta have one of these workers. Let's see, yeah, okay, I want you to build a house. Oh, we're gonna put that house right over here. Alright, you have built a house, so get back there. Oh, wait, oh, wait, come here. Build a basic training camp. Uh, training camp. I am short of wood. So, yeah, you, uh, you're gonna get back to work, dude. Alright, so while I'm waiting on him to gather up enough wood, let's take a look at some of the options we have. Of course, we have hold, stop, uh, patrol, attack. Then we have build and repair. Right now, it looks like all we've got to build-wise is the main base, which we already have one here. we got a house built now. You build a blacksmith, and we got a training camp. And I'm assuming, yeah, a training camp is going to be where we uh, we get our new warriors going, of course. Our, our soldiers, our troops, our footmen. I like it. The attack damage is red. That makes me think it's not very good. Like, he's not a very good fighter. He, he's a footman, but come on. Take some pride in your work. All right, what else can we do now? So, all right, so that has unlocked Archer Tower, a temple, King's Court, and Factory. Now, Factory, I would think Siege Engines. Of course, Archer Tower is probably Archers, unless it's like a defensive tower. We're going to try that. We're going to build a, an Archer Tower right there because... They have this little, you know, hill they have to walk down. They can't get to it from there. Like, at least, you know, melee units can't get to it there. And I'm thinking the factory, you know, might be the next thing we get to unlock. The temple is probably... I don't know if that's going to be the wizard or, like, a priest type thing. If this is fantasy medieval or if this is regular medieval. Uh, train cap, train footmen, archers... So, I need wood. Come on, guys. Catch up. Slowing down to build that stuff, that has made such a dent 
difference right here. I mean, over a hundred difference between that. Plus, uh, it looks like they got a much shorter distance to go. That's not helping. All right, we got Archer coming now. All right, so reading here, the Archer Tower is not like a defensive tower where it just automatically fires like we might have in some other RTS games. Instead, it says that this is a shelter for the archers, so obviously I need it to be able to create archers. Uh, but archers can be inside the tower and not killed, but they're able to attack. So you can, if you choose to, apparently send an archer. Hey, you, why are you not work? Oh, you did not just... You blocked yourself in. Oh. That's why he was slowing down so much. The worker built himself into a corner. Take my army north to practice. So I'm assuming, yes, uh, this is north. Let's see. I don't think I've got a pathway through there. It looks like I have to go around. I just noticed that it's got on the map, the mini map, I can see my visual range, but I don't have like an indicator showing where I'm actually viewing on the screen like you would have in most other RTS games. So that's probably going to be added later. At least you ho we hope it's going to be added later. Ah, so I've got actual like practice dummies here. Ah. And they actually get to target them like they are enemies. Oh no, you did not. So I told another worker to build a factory and he built himself into a corner too. So I've got two workers I can't use now because they have built themselves into corners. Let's see, all right, I can build a catapult with that. So that is actually a production thing as opposed to just unlocking and of course I need more wood because why would I not need the resource? I only have one person gathering thanks to two idiots locking themselves in behind the structures they built. Oh, oh, what we got? We got more footmen and archers and I get a catapult already. And I got a spot to attack. I'm assuming to create like an avalanche. Yes! <laughs> I do like the inclusion in this that they're looking at stuff environmentally that you're going to have to like do things to create new, you know, like bridges and stuff through the environment. That is a nice touch there. And oh, he is like bloody trail behind him. All right, I've got to find the enemy base and destroy it. I see some gold and wood there and there's lights there and there's this thing so I'm assuming they're down that way so it looks like can I go this way and that way I'm thinking one might be designed as like a, a choke point like I'm gonna be heavily attacked through that section oh okay so I can't Attack the mine. Yeah, there's the fenders over there. Ah, you just can't handle it. Ah. Ah, go kill them all. I like it. At least I can queue up stuff for this that they'll actually go in sequence from what I've queued up. You know what? Uh, it's too early to be done with this. I don't want to destroy that already. I have got some other stuff going over here. Go oh, ahead. We're going to try out some other things before I finish this. I got several houses built. I got plenty of food, housing for, you know, my people. I've got King's Court. And, uh... Apparently, it is not set up yet where we can actually use these guys. <laughs> oh, in the Keys Court, you're able to train jesters and after building an academy, knots. Well, right here, I got a knot. I don't have an academy, which probably the problem right there. 
Uh, I don't remember there being an academy in this. Let's see. Uh, no academy. There's a temple, though. Maybe I can do something with the temple? It didn't tell me to build a blacksmith. I kind of wish it had. They were going to put the blacksmith over here. Hopefully, I won't get stuck behind it this time. So, let's see. Uh... Okay, construction of a temple lets you take control of, or construction of a temple on a holy spot. Oh, what you bet? That's what that is. That's what that's for. I was supposed to build a temple on that spot, and it gives me control over what looks to be a tornado. All right, here we go. Terrific, head south and east and visit Barian Castle. Do that, you need to cross the lake. Take control of nature power, you build a temple on it. Okay, so yeah, I can build a temple and apparently be able to use that. So let's get my new guy over here. We're gonna have you come here. We're gonna start a new little town area over here. Snowstorm, not tornado, snowstorm. Freezes the lakes and rivers on the map. For 20 seconds. Again, another environment element that is really nice, you know, that they've done that in this, is that instead of it being just a plain map, there's actually environmental stuff you have to interact with to be able to get across to certain places and so on. Oh, I have lost the guy. I lost the guy. And they're not even shooting the, uh, the weak guy. He's got three health. He would be dead in one shot. And they ignored him. So, that is Bannerman. Very much a Warcraft-style game. This is just the demo. So, you know, you're gonna see a lot more coming out. And again, this is free to play right now. It's just a free single-level demo. I'll have a link below in the description if you want to check it out. And hopefully they'll have... Maybe a more expanded demo, or it'll be showing up on Steam at some point uh, for early access, so we could try it out there. Uh, but I'll definitely be keeping an eye out for this game to have some more stuff come out, because it, it's a very interesting game. It looks like it's going to be pretty fun, and it's got that whole nostalgia thing to me of old school RTS top stuff. All right, well, that's going to be it for today's video, Freaking Cheap Fridays. Again, that's Bannerman demo uh this is free to play link below in the description if you like the video be sure to hit that like button also hit subscribe keep up with all my content during the week and tick that notification bell so it notifies you when i upload because i upload six days a week uh, you also follow me on facebook and twitter if that's more your thing or just say hi to me there uh leave a comment below let me know what you think of this demo if you're interested in this game when it gets finished uh love to hear what your thoughts are on this game and as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks again for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.